Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to model a rim like this in SolidWorks. Now first we go to File, go to New, click a new part, and click OK. Now go to Insert, go to Reference Geometry and choose Axis. Now choose the top plane and the right plane like this and click OK. Now click right plane and choose New Sketch like so. Choose the center line like this and sketch a vertical center line from the origin like so. Double click to escape. Now give this center line a dimension of 11 inch like so. Zoom a little out. Now choose the line tool. Sketch some lines like I do here. One out here, an angle one. One here and one here. Double click to escape. Sketch your horizontal one here, a vertical here, and a horizontal again here, and double click to escape. Now choose the spline tool, sketch a two point spline between those two points, like so, and press escape. Now click this spline and control click this line and select tangent. Now click the spline again and control click this line and select tangent, like so. Now choose smart dimension. Now make a dimension between this line and this center line of 6.5 inches, like so. Give this one a dimension of 15 millimeters, like so. Give this line an angle between this line and this line of 45 degrees, like so. Now give this line a dimension of 90, like so. Give this line, whoops, give this line a dimension of 20, like so. Now click this point and this point and make a dimension like this, which also should be 20. Now move this point out here, like so. Now give this a dimension of this point and this point, like this. Let's say 31, like so, and give this line, whoops, this line and this line a dimension of 25, and this line a dimension of 20. Now give this handle a dimension of 55, and give this one a dimension of 55 as well. Now choose mirror entities, click this entity this one, this one, this one, and this one, and mirror those about the center line. Right click to accept. Now choose the line tool. Just get your line here, like this, and one here, like this. Now go to features, choose revolve at bar space, and make a revolve around this axis. Right click to accept, like this. Looks fine. Now choose the right plane, select sketch, and choose the section view, and click OK. Now go to the right view, like so. Now choose the line tool, make a line down from this axis, like so. And make one here, one up here, one here, one here, one like this one down to here and one here to close the sketch. Now choose my dimension, give this line a dimension of 70, like so. Choose the origin and this point, give those a dimension of 110, like so. Give this line a dimension of 30, like so. Now choose this line and this point Give it a dimension of 55, like so. Now control click this point and this point and make those horizontal, like so. Make a dimension between these points of 35, like this. Now make a dimension between this point and this axis of 165, like so and choose this point and this origin. Make a dimension like this of 155.5, like so. 
give this one a dimension. No, don't give it a dimension. Now we have to go to the futures, choose revolve the boss, choose this axis, uncheck match result, like so, click OK. So now we will have two solid bodies. Now escape the section view like this. Now choose the fillet, type 50 and click this edge and click this edge on the back like so, right click to accept, like this. Now start a new sketch on this face. First we start with a center line, snap to the origin and sketch a vertical center line up here like this. Double click to escape. Now click this edge and click convert entities like so. Choose the line tool, sketch a line down here like so and one that is into the center line. Double click to escape. Choose smart dimension. Now give a dimension between this point and this center line of 64 millimeters, like so. Give this one an angle of 5 degrees. And this one of 40 degrees, like so. And finally, a dimension between this point and the origin, like this, of 54.5, like so. Now choose mirror entities. Click this entity and this entity, right click and click the center line, right click again, choose trim. Now trim this one away, so we will have a sketch that looks like this. Go to features, choose extruded cut. In direction one, choose through all. Now in feature scope, uncheck auto select and select this body like so and right click to accept. Like this. Now choose the fillet option. We will make two fillets of 40 millimeters, one here and one here, this edge, right click to accept. And another one of 15 millimeters, like so, on this edge, right click to accept. Now choose the circular pattern. In features to pattern, choose the cut and the two fillets. And pattern around this axis. Make sure you have five in number of instances and equal spacing selected and 360 degrees and click OK. Like this. Now start a new sketch on this face. Select the center line. Now snap to this point. Sketch a center line out here. Make sure it's perpendicular. Now click this edge and choose convert entities like so. Sketch a line down to this one, like so. Now choose this point and this line and give this a dimension of 75, like so. And give it an angle between the center line and this line of 47 degrees, like so. Choose mirror entities, click this one and mirror about this center line, like so. Choose trim and power trim and trim away this entity. Now go to features, extrude a cut, make a through all, uncheck auto select and only select this body and click OK. Like so. Now we will have a dimension, a new fillet of 50 millimeters, like so. Now go to pattern, go to circular pattern. Choose this axis and in features to pattern, choose cut extrude number two and fillet number four. Click OK, like so. Now start a new sketch here again, like this. Now click convert entities in offset distance type seven. Right click this edge and choose select tangency, like so. Click reverse, this looks good. Now choose offset entities again, type five. Right click this edge and select select tangency. Choose reverse and click OK, like so. Now extend those entities a little bit out like this. Now select all of those entities and select a circular sketch pattern like this. 
now in number of instances, instances choose five like this and click OK. Now select this edge and choose convert entities and click OK. Choose trim entities and then we want to trim all this away like so. So we can make the next feature. Click OK. Now go to insert, go to curve, go to split line. Now down here in faces to split, select all those faces out here. Oops, we've got something. We have to sketch a circle in the origin like this. Give this one a diameter of 80 millimeters like so. Go to insert, curve, split line. And select all those faces that I'm selecting here. right click to accept so this looks good now go to surfaces go to insert go to surface go to offset surface here now in distance type 0 so we will copy the surface choose all those inner surfaces Click OK. Now go to Insert, go to Features, go to Move Copy, like this. Now in Bodies to Move Copy, we want to select this surface. Now in C, type 5, like so, and make sure you have Copy checked, and click OK, like this. Now right click the Solid Bodies folder and check Hide, like so. Go to Insert surface go to extend now in distance type 2 now right click this surface and select select tangency and right click to accept so this face will the surface will will be extended now go to insert surface Extend again, right click this surface and say select tangency. Right click to accept. Like this, right click solid bodies and choose show. Now click on this face and choose sketch like this. Right click solid bodies again and choose hide. Now expand the split line feature, click on the sketch and choose convert entities like so. Now go to features, go to extrude a bar space. Now in end condition we choose up to surface and we have to choose this surface like so. Make sure merge result is unchecked and click OK, like this. Now go to insert, go to cut, go to cut with surface like this. Now choose this surface and make sure that the direction of the cut is this way. Uncheck auto select and select this body and click OK. Now right click surface bodies, choose hide. Right click solid bodies and choose studio like so. So we have something that looks like looks like this. Now choose fill it. Now type three and give this edge a dim a fillet of, of three, like so. And we should also add some fillets in here to all these edges. No, we will wait with that. Don't do that. Instead of that, expand solid bodies, control click those three solid bodies, right click and click combine. Make sure you have add chosen in operation type and click OK to combine those, those bodies. So we will have one solid body. This looks good. Now choose fill it and type three. 
And down here, make sure you have party or preview or no preview selected. Now select some edges to add fillets like this. then right click to accept. Now click on this edge, go to insert, reference geometry and plane, click OK. Now click on plane one and start a new sketch like this. Click on this edge and click convert entities, go to features, now make an extrusion of 10 millimeters in this direction. Direction number two, make an extrusion of 50 millimeters and click OK, like so. Now choose the chamfer. Now in distance type 10 and in angle type 30. Choose this edge, like so, and click OK. Now start a new sketch on this face. Sketch a center line, snap to, to the midpoint here. And sketch a perpendicular line here, right, double click to escape. Now give this one a dimension, whoops, give this one a dimension of 86, like so. Now exit the sketch, choose whole wizard. Now in whole type, you have chosen asymmetric and make sure you have the socket head cap screw and size M12 through all. Go to positions. Click on this face, click escape, then control click this point and this point and make those coincident. Click OK here and here, like so. Now go to insert, go to face, go to move. Now click here and in C type minus 5 and click OK. Make sure you have translate selected, like so. Now choose the circular pattern and in features to pattern we can expand the feature manager design tree and choose this whole wizard and this move face and make a circular pattern around this axis. Make sure you have five and click OK to accept. Now we can add some, some colors to, to our part. Expand appearances now go to um, go to paint it and go to car now right click black and select add appearance to part like so if you have real view graphics which is only supported by some uh, video cards you can in enable this one so it looks a little better like so now expand appearances again and go to metal Expand aluminum and we want to select some faces here to add some aluminum. one like so and give this one some nice appearance also now we can hide everything that we don't need so this is how you model a rim like this I hope you like my tutorial and you will find it useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.